welcome. In today's video, we will be playing Come Together. Make sure that your ukulele is tuned and also either use a strap or maybe sit down and rest the ukulele on your lap so that the instrument is stable because today we will learn a new technique and it helps if your ukulele is not moving all over the place. Okay, this song has three main parts. We have an intro, a verse, and a chorus. Everything else is a repetition of one of those. Um, I have simple versions of everything. So I will give you kind of like a simpler form and then a more advanced one. I will always present the easy one first. If you want to skip to any part of the video, use the timestamps down below so that you can skip or go back. Okay, for the intro, let me present the easy version first. We have D minor, four beats, but we have four bars of that. So four times four, 16. done with the intro. Now for the more advanced one, let me demonstrate it first and then I'll break it down. So I did that four times and that's kind of trying to mimic what we hear on the recording. So what I'm doing is I'm strumming down on D minor two times. Then I am lifting my middle finger. Look up here for this first time. Don't try it. Just look up here. Okay, I'm picking. And then bringing the finger back down without picking. Look, look, look. That's called a hammer on. So you're literally trying to like hammer your finger onto the fretboard. Look, look, look. I'm going to pick up here. Not that you should, but I just want to show you both hands. And the hammer on is not supposed to be loud. Um, it might sound clear here, but in person it sounds a lot softer than my picked note. So this is my picked note and that's my hammer on. The longer you've been playing ukulele, the harder your fingers are, like you'll have calluses and so the calluses will help make that louder. Um, so if you've been playing for a very short amount of time, then um, your fingers are still really soft. So it'll be even softer. So I'm doing down, down, open. And then I'm adding my pinky where a C chord would be. So let's try that. Okay, ready, go. And the last bit of it is to just pick on G string closest to your face while you're holding the D minor. That's it. Or if you wanted to lift the pinky when you were over here, you could do that too. So you have options. So let me demonstrate it real quick, the way that I normally do it. But you could do it the other way I just said. Let me, let me show you. Okay, because the point is you want an A. And you can get it here, or you can get it by playing on the second fret of G. So th those are your options. You need to play that little lick four times. Three, four. Pause the video here, practice that. When you're done, we're gonna move to the verse, okay? Really quickly, roll the shoulders back, stretch the hands, let's move to the verse. Um, let me demonstrate it first and then we'll do it together. The verse is not too crazy, I don't think. We just gotta pack on the energy, kind of get a little grungy and a little angry. That's all D minor. And then when we get to the A, you kind of want to let the note ring a little bit more. Down, up, 
and then land on G7. So A is down up and land on G7 for the down. Down up G7. A, A, G7. Practice that real quick. Practice. I'll give you some time. That's all you want to accomplish. Because in the music, it kind of, I think it's on the piano where they do this like dun dun dun. You got to be a joker, he just do what he plays. And it goes back to the intro. So let's play through the verse. Have fun with it, relax, roll the shoulders back. One. Two, D minor, one, two, ready, go. Then verse 2 is exactly the same as verse 1. Not the lyrics, but the chords. So let's go to the chorus. Um, I'll play it for you first, and then we'll do it together. Come together right now for me. I'll do it again. Come together right now for me. So it looks simple. We, are, we do have some interesting things going on. So we have B minor. And together. When we get to the word right, I lift the ring finger. Right. And the reason is that the bass, um, like the bass instrument, has an A during that time, not a B. We're holding B minor, so we're trying to mimic that. Come together. And then by the time you land on now, and give me four little strums there. So it's one, two, three, four, A. One, two, three, four, A. Oh, I mean. The last thing that I'm doing on the chorus, that's a style choice, you don't have to do it, but after I've played the one, two, three, four, A, I'm using these two fingers to rest on the string and stop it from vibrating. And it gives it that like little drum or percussion sound and it also gives it a little bit of that shock factor. So listen to it. Let me show you without it. You see how the note lingers? Let me do it without it again. Now let me show you with a mute. Has that come kind of goes away? Um, let's play the chorus together. One, two, one, two, ready, go. Together, me. And then it goes back to surprise, surprise. Everything else in the song repeats. So why don't we do the verse, chorus? And that link, and we call it a day. Here we go at the verse. Skip to the chorus. Ready? Come together right now Oh, I mean Okay, you're done, you're done, you're done. Relax, roll the shoulders, breathe, 
you just gave yourself a really nice ukulele workout so go relax and i will see you in the next one sayonara